Okay, so here we have our finished, what will be our cuff. We have our provisional cast on, those first 10 rounds that we knit, our short row heel tab, and then the second 10 rounds. Now what we're going to do is fold it over on itself so that the cast on edge meets the stitches on your needle. And we're going to knit together each stitch that's on the needle with one of the purl bumps that is at the cast on edge. And of course you're going to be knitting into your sock yarn and not your provisional cast on yarn if that's what you chose to do. So here's the first stitch. I'm going to use this to point. You can see the row of pearl bumps within the cast on edge. This is why it's important to use a really contrasting provisional cast on waist yarn if that's what you chose to do. So that's the first stitch we're going to knit into together with the one on the needle. You can see that's our cast on tail and it will be approximately in the same column. If it were exactly in the same column, it would line up with the, the waist yarn, but it's going to be off by about a half a stitch. It's not going to be noticeable at all. So when you knit them together, it will be, it will look like a perfect, perfect folded over cuff. So what we're gonna do is put our right needle into the stitch that's in, in our working stitches right now, and then through the purl bump at the cast on edge. So we'll wrap around and then we will first pull it through the purl bump and then pull it through the stitch on your needle. You'll probably have to do them separately just because it's a little bit fiddly and tight if you want to do them together. So again, here we go. We got it through both stitches. We're going to wrap it around, pull it through first your cast on edge stitch, and fix that and then through the stitch on your needle. Okay, I'll show you one more. Okay, we got it through both stitches. So we're gonna do this all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. And as an aside, I will say that this is barely any faster on the sock machine, this step, because you have to manually use a little hook to bring up each stick, stitch from the cast on edge and bring it up over on the needles. So here we are at the end. I've got two left to do. So we'll knit into both cast on stitch and the stitch on our needle. And here's the very last one. There should be one purl bump left. And then put them each up and over individually because again, it's a bit of a pain to do them. So now we can just knit, knit regularly. So from here you can place a marker and you're gonna knit 10 rounds before you start your heel. And that's about it.